So once we have Minecraft open, the very first thing we're going to do is go to the Hour of Code section. Minecraft has lessons from last year as well as a, another option for you. But today we're going to be using this year's Hour of Code 2020 Inclusion World. So what this world about is, is about inclusion, which means accepting others uh, for their differences and being inclusive, which means including them, having them be a part of um, the things that you do and that your friends do. Um, even though somebody's different, it's having them be, at, well, we're all different, um, but it's accepting those differences and um, befriending and being kind uh, to others. And that's what inclusion means. So that's the focus of this year. And so they've got a tale of two villages. We have the illagers and the villagers. And the illagers are fishers and the villagers are farmers. And you're gonna use the power of code to help teach these uh, two groups of people inclusion so that they accept each other and work together and end up being better off because of it. So it's really, really fun. Uh, you get to do different coding challenges in here to get that done. Uh, things like coding your agent to create a farm, uh, coding your agent to protect a farm on the other side. There's a bunch of different challenges. You guys will have a lot of fun with it. When I'm ready, I can click create world and it's gonna take me into that world. All right, so I'm ready to go. Um, first thing I wanna talk about is how to move and interact with uh, the environment. So it, uh, Minecraft actually has a little help for that. Sorry, I had to exit and do something there. Um, what you can do is you can press, look on the bottom left-hand corner where it says H, so controls. What this means is that when you press H, you will actually see the movement controls. W for forward, S for back, A for left, D for right, space for jump, E for inventory, C for code builder. There's my wonderful agent. So many different buttons that we can use and press. Shift to sneak. Now, the other thing I need you to know is that this world is actually, and I'm going to hide my controls. You leave that open if you need it. But this world is actually in what's called adventure mode, which means I cannot break blocks. So look what happens when I try to left click to break blocks. I can't. This is an adventure world where I'm interacting with the things in the world. And my agent is actually going to build things for me, the coding agent. So how to interact is to right click. On a snake bite, it's that, uh, or sorry, on a Chromebook, I got ahead of myself there, we actually call it a snake bite. Why? Because it's your two fingers touching down separate from each other, kind of like a snake's teeth, you know, two points touching down at once. So it's nicknamed the snake bite. Practice right clicking. Uh, you'll have to use it quite often in this lesson. So the first thing I'm gonna do is I'm going to interact with this book. That means I'm gonna walk forward and I'm gonna right click on this tale of two villages. And it's going to tell me all about the story here. To keep this video short, I'm actually not going to read it. Uh, that will be up to you. There's important information in every one of these um, interactions that tells you how to complete the story. If this is a lot for you to read, let's say we have some younger kids, grade ones, grade twos, or it's just some words are challenging for you, don't worry. Microsoft has something called Immersive Reader. Look for this little book symbol with the speaker. And what that means is that Immersive Reader will open up and it will help you read. So let's try. It's giving me all these tips, sorry, about how to use it. I can change the text. I can press play to have it play. Let's just go ahead and use it. This is a tale of two villages, the farming villagers to the east and the fishing illagers to the west. All right, we're not going to go through it all, but just know that if you need a little bit of help reading these comments, uh, and these comments are very important, uh, then you can use Immersive Reader to help you out. Basically, he tells us that there's those two different groups, the illagers and the villagers, and they're not getting along. And we want them to get along and we want to help them. So the villagers are growing... Um, uh, plants and crops and the illagers are fishing and neither one has enough food but if they shared they would be able to both survive and be happy so when we're done this tells us all about our story and our setup uh, and we have learned how to use immersive reader and we're ready to actually get started helping these villagers and illagers to get along in our next step when you're done and you've read the whole story press finished and we'll move on to our next video